everyone, Misha here. So today we are back with The Witcher. Uh, so in the last one we accidentally killed one of the people that we were going to try and save. So we have that. Oh yeah, we were going to go and talk to the witch. Where the hell is that? She's... Right there. Okay. Ugh, all the running. Well, screw you in your locked door. How about that? Rar. Oh, why does it have to be so? Oh my God, leg. Why does it have to be so far away? <sighs> Oh, damn it. Uh... Of course, people die because, you know, I can't... Uh, I can't do stuff. I still need to sell things. <laughs> I don't even know who to sell to. How to sell or anything like that. That's game makes me mad sometimes. Oh, another one. There we go. I do apologize that I am not talking a lot. I am pretty tired. <laughs> it's like really early in the morning. So I'm also trying not to talk too loud. It's really hard. It, it's really hard. You're probably gonna see uh, a friend of mine pop up every once in a while watching as is watching your game and stuff. Um, I'm also going uh, streaming live for a friend of mine in Australia with this game, so it's going to be going in and out. What do you want? I want your boobs. That's what I want. All the boobs. I don't know. I need to know where the beast came from. Why ask me? Aren't witches wise in the ways of magic? Yes, but this beast is beyond me. Although, I know someone else. Who would that be? The boy Alvin. He's a strong source and a diviner. What he knows we could not hope to imagine. However, if I were to give him a certain potion... Won't it hurt him? No need to fret, he'll be fine. Bring me the petals of five white myrtle and your questions will be answered. Myrtle grows outside the village. If you lack knowledge of herbs, I have this book. It's yours, for a price. Everything is for a price, damn it. Why? <sighs> why I got why the hell do I have to be everybody's bitch? I mean really. Why can't somebody be my bitch? What do you want? The Reverend believes. And what do you believe? Nothing yet. What's your side of the story? <laughs> I had nothing to do with it. Well, son of a bitch. I wasn't a talking to you, goddammit. What do you want? Stop trying to freaking sleep. I don't really care about reading this stuff. I mean, if you guys want to read it, feel free. You'll have to get your own version of the game, of course, but... Okay. So, where the f crap... Oh, god. Damn it. Why? Oh, well, that was cool. I wasn't trying to do that. Yeah, definitely not worried about that. 
Where the hell am I looking for these things? I mean, is there a specific place I'm looking for these things? I totally wasn't reading that when I saw it. Yeah. Oh my god, you're gonna make me read my journal just to read the one damn thing that I was freaking looking for. What the hell was I looking for? Oh. Uh -huh. No, it looks okay. It's a field plant. So that means it should be in a field, right? Right. I'm gonna find it. That's a question. Ah, my eye. Hey, why do you have to have something in your eye? Thankfully, I can play generally with one hand. Oh my god, you little fuck. Okay. Stop. I keep using the space bar for jump and realize you can't jump in this game, which is freaking retarded. It pisses me off. So what do you want? Resting. Which is in five hours. That's fine with me. I need to be able to see where the hell I am fucking going. Okay, pokey. Since I don't need to be in the nighttime anymore. Thank bloody God. Damn squirrels. Assaulting convoys like during the war. Who's this? Don't piss off the squirrels, and then they won't attack you. Okay. Where the hell am I gonna find these things? Mm. About around the time the uh, Black Plague, the Black Plague was going around. I mean, that gives me an idea, kind of, of what time frame this is being taken place. Even though it really doesn't matter, it's a completely different universe. Kind of cool. What a completely different place. Where the hell am I? Oh god, I'm here. Okay. It's a field flower. I mean, should be in a field. I mean, that makes sense. But where do I find it? Greetings. Holy crap. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and short for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing, but think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Who are the Skoyatel? Terrorists or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Skoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Do you trade with them? Fuck off. You won't provoke me. <laughs> Just a simple Shut question. Up, troublemaker. Shove up, troublemaker. You know what? Fuck you then. Who's this? 
I probably should not have asked that question. Oh well. Well, damn. Okay. Still need to sell my stuff. Eventually. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Who the hell are you? Oh, Finally this guy. Is someone sensible here. And you are? Luvarden, merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately, my friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. Indeed. I'm forced to sell my goods out here. Bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Rob me in broad daylight. Go ahead. What are you peddling? My life. <laughs> Your life. Okay. There, have more shit to sell. The hell was I doing? I don't fucking know. Okay. It says it's here in the inn. Where? That's the biggest question. Where the hell is it? Oh, maybe, maybe. Stop freaking. Greetings. Greetings. What a despicable place. I'm trapped here with my goods while my wife and children wait in the city. Why is that? Vizima's gates are closed due to the plague. The gods be my witness. Nothing ruins trade like an epidemic. I guess we just have to wait. Most of the diseased have died off. But the beast and bandits now spread their own terror. All we're missing are tax collectors. Can I ask you something? Yes? I just... I made him shut up. Ah, yes. That's... That that is that is what I need right there. And all, for, all of them. So now I have that. And I go back to aha. Yeah, yeah, okay. Figured it out. What do you want? I gathered the myrtle petals. Excellent. Now to prepare the potion. How is it made? Interested in witches' secrets, are you? The recipe is yours if you swear to take it to your grave. I swear. Draw close and listen. Blend two ounces of cadaverin with the myrtle petals. Speak your name backwards, turn about three times leftwards, spit into the fire and stir the potion again. Complicated. <laughs> I knew witches' magic would be beyond the mind of a man. Grant me a moment to finish the potion. See you later. I'm thinking that she did a fib. Because really? Really? Sometimes my dreams are strange. Indeed, Kev. later. I'm busy. Hi. I will indeed come back later. <laughs> Maybe we should give her an hour. Because it generally should not take that long to make a potion. Generally. But then again, things could be different. 
Am I going to where I need to? Down here, okay. Dozy fighter place. Ugh, this area takes so damn long. Why? <laughs> I don't even want to be in here. I wonder how long this game actually is. It's kind of a thought. Like, am I supposed to spend, like, the whole game trying to get to the king? Or is that just part of it? What do you want? Is the potion ready? Yes. Alvin, drink this. Tastes bitter. No complaining. Now, speak. Abigail, I'm afraid. Why'd they skin the puppy? Why'd they hurt him? He was gentle. He hurt no one. And the girl from outside the village, she screamed horribly. Unlike any human. Bad children. Torturing the witch's puppy again. Innocent blood. Evil faces twisted by drink and desire. Well, well, well. Show her you're a man. Blood stained gold. The beast is born. Death. The final judgment. The beast has met its end once. It doesn't fear death. It is death. How will you defeat human villainy? With your sword? You who died and still walk amongst the living. Who is summoning you? Enough. This could end badly. Abigail, break the trance. As you wish. By the power of the seven spheres, leave this body. I compel you. Be gone. Oh, I'm sleepy. Alvin, go to bed. Geralt, another witcher, Berengar, preceded you. He left these missives. Thanks. Farewell. Well, son of a bitch. <laughs> Once again, I have to deal with the damn reverend. He is a jerk. Meh. Speak quickly. I know where the beast comes from. Was it summoned by the witch? The beast appeared because of human wickedness. To slay it, I'll need to identify the guilty. There may be wisdom in your words. When sheep run astray, the good shepherd must bring them back onto the righteous path. Otherwise, they fall prey to wolves. I'll learn all I can to defeat the beast. I must gather all the villagers. Here's your prize, witcher. Two hundred arms. Okay. Speak quick. I'm looking for men. If that's not what why vexing them may shorten your. Do I look scared? Another witcher came here before you. He too swagger. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village. What? Can I'm I just skipping through some of this because yeah. Destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel, and Hara. Can you solve their problems, too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, are a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Oh Wait. my god. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why? Why am I subjected to this crap? Why? Why do I put myself through this? Why? Oh, God. Do I need to continue to talk to you? Speak quickly. Are you a chaplain of the Eternal Fire? Yes, heathen! Only the Eternal... Really? 
So says the prophecy of Ithlain, the elven witch. Is that so? The old world will die, to be born again from a seed that will not sprout, but burst into flames. You seem to contradict yourself. You mock me, witcher. So tell me, who gave you leave to meddle in the affairs of humans? You, an emotionless mutant. Answer, who? The eternal fire, no doubt. Return to your dark life, heathen. One more thing. Speak quickly. I hear the church of the... As long as you can brew, I'll return with... Hurry. <laughs> the guy's in a dick. Maybe I should set his beard on fire. With that eternal fire. Hmm? That would be nice, wouldn't it? I think I'm just getting way too tired for stuff. So... I don't even know what the hell is this way. Stallkeeper? Can I sell to you? You a witcher? How did you know? Saw one like you recently and asked the reverend. Never learned his name. But he wished to enter the city. Did they let him into Vizima? I know not. He approached the reverend, perhaps for help. Anything else? Nothing I haven't said. That doesn't help me much. Hmm. Okay, I got nothing to give right now because I could totally eat those. So, for now, I know this is going to also be a short video, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. I'm getting very, very tired. It's very late. I need to sleep. So, I will talk to you guys in the next videos and see you then. Peace out to my minions.